Brandy, welcome to yet another edition of Tell Someone Podcast. You know what we do. We are those people who tell it better than the rest. You know, um, I just think that if you are joining us for the first time, do not hesitate to press that subscribe button, like, and then leave us a comment. And your host, SG, will definitely respond. You know, um, for the past few days, there's just been a lot of discussions about Zodwa Wabantu this, Zodwa Wabantu that, and stuff like that. You know, she she got tongues wagging, you know? And and, and we say, let's tell someone that, no, let's, let's allow other publications to, to be running with the story and stuff like that, and not just come. You know, when something is actually trending, you know, sometimes you, you must just give them space, you know, and see the angle at which they're trying to attack that issue from. But one thing, one thing that really stood out for me, I mean, personally, was that how, how many Zodo Wabantu uh, do we need? You know, people who can just come out in the public and just be that honest with us. Huh? I mean, we need, we need people like that who, who are real. You know, one thing I like about Zoda, Zoda is that kind of person who she, she, she owns up to her things, you know? She's not that kind of a person who likes to present as A when she's in fact B, you know? And this is something that we ought to expect from a celebrity such as Zoda, you know? Because someone is busy saying, ah, no, hey, abortions and stuff like that. And the very same person who could be talking about Zoda's abortions has even done far worse or committed even more abortions and stuff like that, you know? But, you know, with Zoda, you know, you, you get it raw from her, you know? You don't need to say, no, I'm... I, I want to go there and do a gossip column about Zodwa. No, Zodwa invites you. She says, come to my come to my circle. This is who I am. This is what I do. And 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 we need to appreciate this kind of people. You know, we need to say that, we need to say to Zodwa, girl, you 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 own, you own this thing, you own this shit. You are the real shit. You are you are the real you are the real deal. Because if we don't, I mean we're also being dishonest people, you know. I'm not promoting the fact that doing abortion is the right way to go. Because she even said so herself that at that time she was very stoned and stuff like that. How many things have you done when, when, when you were still young eh, eh, under the, the issue of being stoned? Maybe you have even done far worse things, but you don't want to open up because you are ashamed of the things that you have done. But Uzodo, after she has opened up, there is a child somewhere there who realizes that, no, man, maybe doing this thing is wrong and stuff like that, I heard from Uzod and stuff like that. And maybe this is the angle that we, we should take to educate our young girls that this thing is wrong and stuff like that, and Uzod has done it, and now she's even regretting because it was a stoned thing to do. She says it, that it was stoned of me to do that. So we, we, need, we, need, we need to appreciate the girl. Eh? Zodwa, when, uh, uh, you know, at first, you know, just, just maybe to tell you a brief story, you know, at first I had my reservations about Zodwa. You know, I always thought that, no, man, who's this one now? She's here to cause commotion and stuff like that. Kanjai, Awa. She's nothing like these celebrities that I see around here. Ah, Zodwa is the real deal. Zodwa, keep being yourself. And Tina will always follow your show. Because Nati, we're uncensored people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Salama Gomarenani, a.k.a. the SG. Subscribe. <laughs>